Hello, Leo. So this is going to be your reading for whenever you get it, okay? Um, I just heard you need a vacation. <laughs> My intuition is already heightened, but I didn't want it to start right now. Let me just tell you before I get into it. Um, oh my God. I feel like I won't be able to do the introduction because my intuition. <sighs> okay, my apologies, y'all. When spirit ready, spirit ready, right? Any of you guys who are intuitive, y'all know how that be, baby. When this, when your intuition just starts to pop off, you be like, wait, slow down now. This reading is going to be a little different. This is all about um, how the cross watcher feels about you. How does your love interest feel about you? What do they find, I hear intriguing about you? What do they find that is attractive about you? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I'm going to have an extended, all right? First of all, some of you guys are, are newly single. You're, you're out on the dating scene and you're turning a lot of heads. It's like a glow up season for you. Um, I hear who run this mother? Who run this mother? Who run the world? Some of you guys can be really big on music right now. Um, also on the dating side, if you have a dating site uh, and you just put your profile up or you updated your profile, it's like, you're going to be a hit. I hear magic. This is going to be a very magical season for you. Um, some of you guys, I am going front. Let me tell you what I really see. Some of you guys are going to be a player. I hear like a, a, a magnet. <clears throat> you are, you decided that you want to play. If you're single, this is something that you are going to be right for the summer. You outside and baby, you living single, you feeling yourself. Um, some of you could be afraid of love because of what happened to you in your last connection. Some of you, not every, not everybody, not everybody. It's like you have a point to prove. You want to stunt. You're very, very flirty. I hear flirty 30. Even 25, you could be turning 25, or you just turned 25. You're turning 25. Um, cancer. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry. You could be with a Cancer. You could be with a Scorpio. A lot of people are checking you out. A lot of people want to spend money on you. You look like money. <laughs> Baby, you looking good. <laughs> You look good. Shit. Um, Gemini. I hear being honest with yourself. Some of you are just stepping out single. You could just you could just be newly single. Just stepped out of a, a connection. You want to be honest with yourself. Like my last connection just wasn't working for me. Could be a situation like that. Gemini came out twice. Cancer came out. Oh, you things is falling down. What is happening? <clears throat> cancer came out again cancer and, and and gemini aquarius it's coming out so strong so i'm gonna stop because the same signs is popping up um so let's let's see for some of you you're single others of you you are in a connection strong cancer energy or somebody who has cancer um in their chart you're 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 really really wanted um you're really wanted. <laughs> if you're single, you're you're a really wanted woman or man. Like people have an eye for you. You look so stunning. There's something that you did. You could have leveled up on your appearance. You could have went clothes shopping. You did something. Or you could have just shit. You could have just came outside, baby. You ain't need to shop. You ain't need to do nothing. You, your clothes already look good. You just needed to, to get dressed and come outside. You outside, baby. It's outside time. Shit. Um And you're flirty, like you're ready. Yeah, you have beautiful legs. You have beautiful legs. Uh, you get compliments on your legs. 
and it's something to do with the smoothness, you know? You could be um, using certain creams or ointments or something on your legs. Your legs look really beautiful. Maybe you just shower and you shave and your, your legs have such a glow and it's really soft. But maybe your legs is popping, you know? All right, let's see what else. Aww. Whoever this person is, like, you inspire them. You mo you would motivate them. You inspire them. And, you know, I think you inspire them with your strength. You know, you, you could help people. I hear you bring up things from your past and things that you have been through. I hear up late on the phone. This could be somebody you're with, you know, or dating or seeing. But you inspire them. Like, you're an inspiration just by sharing your story, your, your truth, your life truth of all that you've been through, all that you have overcame it's it's very inspirational for for people to hear or this person to hear and when i say people i'm sorry i feel like some of you are single like newly single on the dating scene i feel that strong but if you're not just know that if you're talking to someone or you're dating or someone you're with someone they find your story very inspirational i hear true like you're very honest you're very like truthful you upfront about your struggle what you've been through and and how you overcame they love that they love your inner strength This person feels like they can trust you. There's something about you that's very trustworthy. They can they can talk to you in ways that they can't speak to anybody else. You know, like you're you're truly their go go to person. I also heard like go getter. Like maybe maybe you always find a way to make it. You know, music. Some of you could be in the music industry, or you guys sit down and 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 you listen to music together, and they love that about you. Like they love. Some of you, like, I hear free spirit. You have a very free-spirited soul. Um, and you like all kinds of, of, of music. Some of you, you could be very spiritual. Like a soulstress, you know? But they love your, your music. The, like, the type of music you listen to, you guys have the same type of music. And they love that. They know that when they come to your house or when they hop up in your car, you're going to be playing the music because you got that good taste in music. You know what I'm saying? It'd be, it be you for them. <laughs> Baby, it'd be you for them. <laughs> it'd be you for them. You make them horny. I hear the last time they seen you, you look so hot. <laughs> the last time you see... <laughs> I'll be trying to do these videos about like and I'll be dying laughing. You make them so horny. Like, the last time they seen you, they, they fan like, yo, she or he looked good. Like, oh, damn. Like, <laughs> baby, it be you for them. <laughs> they be serious. They be serious about you. I hear staring at you all the time. You might even catch them from the corner of your eye that's looking at you, you know? you like, what you looking at? You? It's your fine ass. <laughs> Baby, it'd be you for them. All right. This ain't going to be for everybody. But I'm going to tell you what, my, what I just... You... <sighs> I'm going to have to do like an 18 plus for this because... Come on now, Leos. Y'all, they like the fact that you like to use toys. You bring toys into the bedroom. And they love that. <laughs> they love your attitude. They love how feisty you are. I hear mean girl mentality. You could probably have like a... You mix it up. You're really girly and flirty. But you also got like a tough... A tough... I hear fierce spirit. I hear rude. Like, you might tell them to move. They love that. They love how you try to play tough. Some of you, you're on and off with this person. I hear moving in with you. They could they could live with you on and off. They, they move in, move out. <laughs> they move in and move out with you. Damn, too many. Yeah, see? 
They find you to be hot. You so attractive, baby. With your attractive ass. <laughs> Woo! And they love spending quality time with you. I hear laying butt naked in the bed. Massage. Some of you may massage them or they may ask you. Wait, you massage them or they massage you. They love this like laying butt naked in the bed. Um, Talking about life. Watching television, listening to music. Some of you even smoke with them while y'all laying down. They love that. They just love kicking it. And neck. For some reason, I feel like some of you have a, a tattoo on your neck. Or they can have, I hear, a tattoo on their neck. They like when, <clears throat> when you kiss them on their neck. I knew it. hair some of them that they be pulling your hair you love that on top they love when you're on top of them and i'm talking about on top of them and and two there's two different types of ways you could be on top of somebody maybe you stay on top of them with your attitude you make sure that they stay on top of they they stuff you know you always sending them reminders yo did you make sure that you took the chicken out the fridge so when i get home i can cook it it didn't have to be that, but I'm just saying. You you remind them. Did you pay that bill? It's due. You remember? Did you bring that to the post office? Did you take those clothes to the cleaners? <laughs> you stay on top of them. You don't play about that. <laughs> and also, like, <clears throat> you're the best they ever had in bed. Um, yeah, I hear you're their greatest achievement. They feel like if they pulled you, like, you're their greatest achievement. They never pulled somebody of your status or of your type before. Like, oh my God, I pulled this person. They feel that way about you. I also heard studio apartment. Maybe, maybe you helped them find an apartment or they have a studio apartment. I don't know. I hear studio apartment downtown. What? A studio apartment downtown. You could have helped them find a studio apartment downtown. Yeah, leasing office. Maybe you guys are moving in together or you help them find a place when they, they really needed a place. You helped them find shelter. You could have provided this person with shelter, like a roommate. You could have helped them find a roommate. There's something that you that you did. Like you're very helpful. Some of them too, you helped them with their weight. When you met them, they were overweight. And you helped them with their weight, staying on top of their, their diet plan. Or sugar, if they have something to do with sugar, you help them with what else did Leo do for this person? Baby, they seem sprung over you. <laughs> Baby, you be eating them Cheerios late at night with them. <laughs> they sprung over you. Lord have mercy. But y'all be chilling. Y'all be chilling. I just, I just, I truly just see. They can even play in your hair. Y'all just be laying down, just chilling. Yeah. They love your lips. All right. They love how ambitious you are, how driven you are. Like, you work hard. I don't know. For some, for some of you, it's like you could have a, a situation where y'all, like, play house together in a way. some of you for some of you like i don't know if you're like a cross watcher you you're with a leo some of you may think that the leo is cheap i don't know some of you not not all of you you may yeah and you travel with them they love how you guys travel you guys do things i hear multiple dates you like to travel and, and do different things you don't like to stay in the same place they love that about you that you're willing to be spontaneous and travel with them i hear fly out y'all fly out together and they have a lot of respect for you 
you know? All right. I hear you understand them better now. So it seems like you could have been with this person on and off for a while. I hear booking trips. They they love the fact that you will take a seat back and let, let them be the man or something. Yeah, they like your optimism, you know? When they're when they're in the dark, they like the fact that you brighten them up. You take them out of their darkness. Like you, you're very optimistic with them. You, you are their cheerleader. You know, but sometimes they find you to be a little bit controlling. Because it says let go of control issues. Maybe you, they find you to be a little bit controlling. Like if you guys are dating, you could have met them on a dating site for some of you. Yeah, I just, seen, I just heard another, I just heard an airplane right now. You could be booking a flight with them right now to go away. But yeah, maybe, maybe you wanted to rush the connection with them and they just wanted it to unfold naturally. Maybe you want to rush to marriage, rush down to the altar and they're just like, yo, I ain't rushing to marry. Like, let's just like, you know, they might find you a little bit controlling of how, how you want this relationship to be, whether you want to get married right now, settle, settle down and make it official right now. It's like, slow down. Yep, I knew it. Engagement. I hear I want to reach for the stars with you. And this is like honeymoon. This person could come off a little bit emotionally distant, you know, maybe, maybe you want to get engaged to them emotionally distant. There could be times when they're really, really quiet, but you do help them out. You do keep them optimistic about, about life, but when they're emotionally distant, it makes you feel disconnected from them. Um, some of you are very intuitive. You can feel when this person is very distant from you emotionally. They could be with you. A person could be with you physically and not connected to you emotionally, you know? So they could be very emotionally distant. But you you could be ready, like, to, for engagement. You want this thing. This could be the control. They find you to be controlling. You're, you're ready to get engaged. Like, can we just get married now? We love each other. You think I'm the best you ever had. Can we just do this now? Can we tie the knot? You could be like that. You could be like that. <laughs> all right? So I'm going to go on to the extended, all right? I send you so much love and light, Leos, okay? 